30F31M, my husband has just told me he's a diagnosed narcissist after three kids. TLDR. He's told me this diagnosis that he has known for years and never told me. I have no idea what to do and I'm thinking of leaving him to protect my kids. I've looked up narcissists and it makes me feel sick yo my stomach. He's told me he's been to therapy and he isn't like other narcissists and is self-aware I disagree. There have been warning signs and selfish things that I dismissed as mistakes because of his manipulation. I've also done research into if the condition can be inherited and some sites say it can because of parenting styles and or genetics. I'm now terrified for my kids. I don't even think of them as that monsters anymore they are just my babies I need to protect. He's manipulative and begging me for second chances and I almost believe him. He's told me this right after Christmas when I'm happy from family time. Likely as a strategy of his. That's what narcissists do. But then he's still my husband and I still love him and a part of me thinks he's telling the truth. How can I escape this situation and how should I go about everything? Most narcissistic people don't want to improve and are pretty good at making things look like it's your fault. The fact that your husband is looking to improve is a good sign. I'd look into talking to him about what strategies he's using and what you can do to help get your family into a coherent relationship. Personally I wonder if this is a fake account. You just found out that he is a narcissist, and right away he is a monster? Narcissism like other personality disorders are on a spectrum. You can be mild narcissistic and have some traits of I which is something your husband seems to have. If this is real I would go through your husband's behavior towards you and review if it is acceptable or not. Forget about lying for now all people lie. The behavior has to be on an abnormal range for you to decide if you need to ask for a divorce. If no such behavior exists then find a couple therapist and work on these issues together. Hey up I think you are mistaking his diagnosis with psychopathy or other personality disorders. The fact that you are saying you would rather your husband have BPD or other things really exposes how uninformed you are. There are varying degrees of narcissistic personality disorders and traits. It is definitely treatable and you should stop acting like your Google search is the spoken word. It sounds like you are just looking for an excuse to leave your husband without actually making an informed decision. Don't be ridiculous. Go to his therapy sessions with him so you can learn about it then make a decision. Assuming this is real, it sounds like you're just freaking out right now. Maybe take some time to yourself to calm down. Is there any way you can speak to his therapist? Or find a therapist yourself to help work through this? Maybe there's a couples counselor who specializes in things like this, too. Question. It seems like he may actually have a handle on his mental health. Especially if before telling you. You didn't suspect. I think leaving him would be a massive mistake without your first going through some couples. Counseling to help move forward and find ways to make it work. And obviously continued. Regular individual therapy is required for him. I was married to a malignant narcissist. From everything you've said your husband is at worst a covert narcissist. And that can absolutely be treated. Once upon a time it was said autistic people can't love anyone. I work with the autistic population and can tell you for a fact that autistic people can and do love other people. They tell me every day they love me. Go to couples therapy before you destroy your family. Nice troll, you genuinely angered me. Has he done anything wrong? Is he a bad husband and father? IDK he might just have a personality disorder but not be a terrible person. Just saying. But this is fake anyways I think. From your reaction honestly it looks like you are struggling with a mental illness too. 
Now that you know about his diagnosis so all of a sudden he's a monster and your kids aren't safe? Come on. Self-aware narcissists who choose to try to be better can make changes. But it's an ongoing struggle. If you break up then he has no reason to try. What do you think co-parenting with a narcissist who doesn't care will be like? Better the devil you know. You married him. Have been raising three kids together. And don't mention any kind of marital or parenting problems. But when he admits to having an illness that he is actively seeking treatment for. And is looking for your support on the matter. Your first thought is to shun him. Pull away. And shut down as a partner? Maybe you should be evaluated for your lack of empathy. Just awful. You seem to be completely overreacting. If he's a decent dad and partner and you had no clue before. That doesn't change. It's not like he's an axe murderer. Lots of people have personality disorders. And can live normal lives with treatment. I don't see a reason in your post to assume he doesn't love you or your kids. Or that he's any kind of danger to anyone. Wait, is he a good husband? Does he treat you right? If so, I would say the therapy is doing great for him and he trusted you enough to tell you. If he hasn't cheated on you or abused you and you are willing to leave him because he is who he is. Born as. You're the monster. Your ignorant and stigmatized reaction is probably what made him keep it from you. You're massively overreacting. Having a mental illness doesn't make him a monster. So what? Suddenly he has a label and now you want to leave him? Jesus Christ. You have three kids. If you've managed to stay with him this far. What bloody difference does a label make? What's important is that your needs are being met and your kids are being loved and supportive not. What someone was diagnosed with. Do you have a therapist? I think the best thing would be for you to get one. Think of them as someone to be your sounding board and your backup to help you understand and keep an eye on your husband and his disorder. Note that I don't think therapy is recommended for many narcissists I would stick with someone. For you. You may need some backup to help you enforce boundaries and make sure your needs and his are being met. But don't let the internet turn you against someone you love evaluate their behavior and how it impacts you and your family. He is more than a diagnosis. Dude I hope if any of your children develop a personality disorder or mental health problem you won't view them as monsters. WTF is wrong WU. You're the one that sounds mentally unwell here to me. You have to keep in mind that a lot of the information out there on narcissism is based on narcissists who don't believe they have a problem and don't try to work on it. A lot of the subreddits people are undoubtedly recommending to you are also about narcissists who don't believe they have a problem and don't try to work on it. If you're with a narcissist who admits to it and is in therapy, there's a good chance that information won't apply to your situation. Also, a lot of what you're listing as symptoms are things a lot of non-narcissistic people do. Like the white lies or forgetting the name of their kid's favorite character. The criticism of your food is more concerning. But it's only a red flag if he tells you to stop being hurt and doesn't try to change his approach. At all. Narcissism isn't a horrible, evil thing. Most people are narcissistic to some degree. You likely even have your own level of narcissism. This sounds more like an attempt to troll. Or find some lame excuse to run from the relationship. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.